Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode eight of season six of Cobra Kai. Things are not getting much better here at the tournament. Things are just continuing to spiral out of control. We managed to hang on just by a thread by kind of sturdying some of our elements, but there are just so many kinks that just keep popping up here and there and just cracks that are forming in the foundation of this team, not to mention that Daniel got like sidetracked and almost completely kidnapped by Kreese having set up some Cobra Kai goons to lure him into a trap out in the middle of the city, locking him in a kennel, in a cage with a bunch of dogs. And then now at the end of last episode, after everything that happened with Robbie and Miguel and the tensions there, and again, Robbie just not being able to keep his eye on the prize, the one person that was locked in now has to leave alongside Johnny to go back home. There has been complications with Carmen's pregnancy. And at this point, with what we just saw with Kreese, I would not be shocked if he somehow had that orchestrated. So who knows? See what happens, guys. I'm literally stressing out <laughs> after everything that we just witnessed up until this point. Everything that's been going on, the way everybody's been acting, the way that everybody's been handling this tournament has been stressing me out. But with that said, let's go ahead and see what happens next. Guys, if you want to see the full three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you come to the channel, it gives you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time goes for the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on movies or react to each month. It's just a great way to support the channel, help us do the things that we do over here. But at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. Please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. And with that all said, LOA, let's go ahead and hop into episode eight. Snakes on a plane. Now I am thinking maybe Kreese had a hand in whatever was going on. Hey, Johnny. Hey, how's she doing? No updates yet. Or are they just going to jump them while they're trying to leave? Oh. I need you to do something for me. Of course. Anything. With Miguel dropping out, Miyagi-Do's down a fighter. I need you to find Kenny Payne and put him on a flight to Barcelona. Of course. There we go. I'll go right now. Damn. Let's go. Justice for Kenny. But we just lost a major player. Hey, man, can you maybe do that later so the rest of us can get on? Relax, buddy. Economy ain't going anywhere. Hey, look, just stay calm, okay? Sir? Need means no ice, babe. I'm gonna let you try it again. Hey, I'll take that if he's not having I mean, cabin drinks will be for sale once we're in the air. Yeah, but this one's already made. Sir, are you gonna be a problem? Oh, my God. Probably a little. <laughs> hey, at least he's being honest. Oh man, what a day. Hey, look who's awake. I knew Chris hated my guts, but kidnapping me? How did Chris know you were searching for answers about Miyagi? His partner. She was there when I was asking Gunther about the headband. Right, she, she did make a pass. I now remember that now. Dirty work. Looks like we got LaRusa rattled. Dial up the pressure. Enemy soldiers. Should never rest, even if they're off duty. Understood. I don't approve. Our team should be focused on the tournament. I won't have my grandfather's students risking the shame of disqualification. Your grandfather is the one that taught me that battles aren't reserved for the battlefield. The kids will be fine. Trust me. Trust me, Daniel-san. Chris expects retaliation, so we must show restraint. Focus on competition. It's funny that Chosen and right. Kim are both right. kind of on the same page about the tournament aspect. But if we're going to stand down, we got to go into defense mode. That means the kids have to stay in for time. Since they chose. Uh, oh, the no. I really need to clear our minds tonight. Is it cool if we go out and hit the town? Oh, we, no. We the town <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Chosen. Do not worry, Daniel. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Oh, my God. Chosen, what have you done? <sighs> That was great editing though. Good comedic timing there. But maybe they do need this. Maybe they do need to like, just unclench their assholes. What are you gonna do now that Sensei Lawrence and Miguel are gone? Well, I heard they're gonna find Kenny. Yeah, cause the kid that shit his pants is totally gonna save the day. Ooh. Uh, about that. Did you get to talk to Miguel before he left? For like 30 seconds. We're so excited about exploring Barcelona together. And now, how are you feeling? Not great. Thinking about adding some rum to this coke. <laughs> you don't drink. That might be a good time to start. 
She's been screwing everything up since Tori put us on a break. And you know what makes it worse? It's not even affecting her. She's been fighting better than ever. Tori chose the other side, and I feel terrible for her. But we can't keep letting her get in our heads like this. It's time to accept that she's against us. Damn. Speak of the devil. It's a tooth fairy. Did you see her knock that close tooth up? It's a badass. Smoke show too. Uh oh, Zara getting uh, jelly. Kenny, hi. I come bearing great news. <laughs> How do you feel about a trip to What the fuck was that, I'm Amanda? Sorry. A spot opened up in Miyagi Do, and they need you to compete in the Saikai Taikai. Yeah, um, I'm not doing that. Have a good day, Miss Lulu. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go? I don't want any part of Miyagi Do. Not after what your son put me through. This is about Anthony? Oh, God. I mean, I I know you had your issues, but I thought everything was fine now. He drugged me and made me crap my pants. You know, <laughs> look up shit but memes. Oh my god. Oh, fine. <sighs> it wasn't him though. God damn it, Devin. <laughs> Alright, what fucking chaos is gonna ensue on this plane? What are you doing? I'm trying to get us home faster. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me, stewardess. Why is the plane doing this bendy thing? You mean following the curvature of the Earth? Tell the pilot to fly straight. Oh my God, Johnny! Amen. Don't worry. Oh, I love you, you big old dum dum. Disregarding me all tournament. Disregarding. Yeah, and you're making things worse right now. Probably find a way to make things worse at the hospital too. Like when you're drinking in the parking lot when Robbie was barking. Miguel, what the fuck? Don't bring Robbie into this. I know you're upset you didn't get the captain's spot, but he won that fair and square. It's not my fault you choked. Is this man bothering you? No. Yes. Oh. Come with me. I just need to What the fuck? Oh, come on, please. Really, you're going up front? Miguel. Miguel. <sighs> there are some low blows there, man. I know his his mom is not looking too great right now, and he's worried, he's upset, blah, 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 blah. But again, it's misdirection of everything. You let her cut the line? Yeah, she's hot. Uh. What are you doing here? <laughs> looking after my students. I mean, he's right. Maybe you're looking to make more trouble for Miyagi Do. Not unless you give me a reason to. Uh, no, 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 no. Take whatever this is someplace else. If you're looking for teenagers, uh, try uh, the beach district. I got this round. My sponsors are paying for this whole trip anyway. You should take some photos so you can remember your one trip to the big time. Maybe I'll take a photo of you on the mat at the finals. <laughs> Knocked out next to all of your teeth. Let's go, Tori. Bear them fangs. Yeah. Remember, you have a girlfriend. You too! She just come over here. We have girlfriends, we love our girlfriends. Stink with that head. I like your hair. It's so cute. Thank you. Is it? I have a girlfriend, though. How about you, tall man? Do you want to dance? I thought you'd never ask. Dimitri! Wow. Uh, I mean, uh, okay. While you're young, man. Oh, Quan, dude. God, so much of this part has been just making me uncomfortable. Oh, I don't think he's gonna make three, two, one. Um. <laughs> oh, damn it! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. One giant for mankind. Sorry, sorry, but come on, that's. I mean, that's objectively funny. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wait, you think I did this? This beef ends today. We need to get Kenny on a plane, and the only way that's gonna happen is if you apologize. No way, no, he I'm not. He didn't do it. For something I didn't even do, Mom. I oh. am not asking. Uh. Get in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> when Amanda turns it on, she turns it on. Yeah, this isn't making me feel better. No, no he tried. No, oh, Pickles tried. Miguel. Hey. Oh I'm my god. You don't belong up here. So go. Or do you want to have a problem? You're about to have a problem. Watch <laughs> this guy's paid by Crease to just antagonize him. Both of you, 
Please sit down. I'm just trying to talk to my kid. All right, we had a family emergency. I just want to make sure he's okay. He doesn't want to speak to you. Please go have a seat. No, that's impossible. Just ask. I asked him already. Thank you. I'm so nervous about this fucking flight, man. You said you saw teens. See any with matching jackets and snakes on them? Hey, we did, didn't we? What bar were they at? I'll tell you if you let me take you for a ride home. <laughs> Think you can handle it? Teams. You tell him I'll break your arm. Dude, what if they end up together, <laughs> bonding over mutual torture? First you kidnap Daniel son. Now you go after kids. You bring dishonor to karate. You're spewing nonsense. Are you drunk again? I've already missed the whole tournament. No. Oh my God, they are gonna bang. <laughs> Whatever you think happened, Cobra Kai had nothing to do with it. I would know. Oh no. Sure. Maybe Chris do without you, huh? Wow, that was a funny fucking image right there. But goddamn, man. I didn't realize how alike those two were until they were both fucking beating the shit out of some goons together. Hey, it's Iron Dragon guy, Drago. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm I'm Sam, by the way. Axel. It's a pretty cool kata. What's it called? I am not supposed to speak with opponents. It's pretty late to be training, right? Always time for training. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. What, happened what to your the back? fuck? Uh, from post staff competition. Nobody's even been able to land a point on you yet. Wow. I saw what happened with your sensei. My sensei wants me to be the best. It's because of him I never lose. There are other ways of teaching. I mean, I gotta admit, your dojo's pretty great. Thank you. You're pretty. You, you're, your dojo's pretty good. <laughs> Smooth. Mind if I join? You wanna switch dojos? Your walk. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was a little confused yeah. as well. Yeah, sure. Um, what's happening? We got Dimitri doing this. We got her having this little walk. And Miguel, well, Miguel's not here. I was also worried about how he would see that and perceive that more than anything. I mean, it's a harmless little thing. Oh my God, he's going to sabotage Dimitri, isn't he? Where are you? Uh, where's the little tapas bar? It's actually pretty cool. Here, oh no, yep. He knows exactly what he's doing. Is that the tree? You shady little man whore. There's no way he didn't mean to do that. He could not have been that oblivious. I mean, to be fair, he probably shouldn't be doing this. Um, I will be right back in the war. Uh, Save my spot. Ooh, even dropping the Mia Mord. Ah, Dimitri, what are you doing? What is happening? We need to worry. Keep it warm tonight. Oh, come on. Make a move. Guess I'll just have to kick your ass on the mat thing. No, excuse me. Someone is waiting for me. Quan, you dick. <sighs> okay. This is stressing me the fuck out, man. All of this. It's not getting any better. Oh, and what is she doing? What move is she about to make? I'm here to say sorry for you shitting your pants, which I had nothing to do with, by the way, but now my mom is blaming me, which means you must have said something, which if you did is such a bitch move. No! <laughs> oh my God, Amanda! Fucking karate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> I need that on a sound clip, man. Fucking karate. You boys, you hit me first, and I'll do it again. Oh, stop it, stop it. You can't keep hurting each other forever. Do you realize how stupid this is? The whole reason a spot is even open in Miyagi Do is because Miguel's mom is in the hospital. He is on a plane right now, not knowing if she's even gonna make it. Some people have real shit they're dealing with. But if you two can't get past this, then your friends in Spain are gonna have to forfeit. This is never gonna end until one of you ends it. Someone is gonna have to lose that battle so you can finally end the war. Let's just call it truce, trial draw. Oof. Oh. 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 
The little bitch, she just threw him right there. Hey, they're they're almost there. No Cobra Kai's to be seen still. No snakes on this plane. Oh. Unless Johnny's the snake. Or it's just fun wordplay for having a lot of this take place on a plane. Sorry I wasn't there for you more in Barcelona. I didn't think you needed my support as much as Robbie. He doesn't have what you have. He's not going to college next year. Psychotech is the biggest thing he's got going for him. But I see how that made you feel. You're my son too. <laughs> as for Robbie, I'm really scared. I love her so much. I try my best to get myself together, you know, be a good guy. And then things like this happen, it feels like I can lose everything all over again. Truth is, I don't know if she's gonna be okay, but I can't think of the alternative. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my this God. Hard, okay, I'm just trying to talk to my kid. I didn't ask you for your whole life story. I asked you to go back where you What a belong. piece of and I've shit. Asked you a few times now, so I'm not asking you again. Hey man, just relax, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna relax, big boss man. Oh, okay. oh, Miguel. Oh. That was a great shot. It's a good backup. Thanks, everyone. We got him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. oh, this is a gorgeous street. Other than a couple of trips to Disney World, I haven't really been outside of California. The only other country I've been to is Canada, which isn't that different, to be fair. Vancouver, specifically. Oh, cute. Ignore them. Say the magic words. Move aside. <laughs> Wrong. Just leave us alone. Only if you say please. Well, and it starts. Yeah, yeah. We top you on there. You do You are. See you on the map. We gotta go. <sighs> Nice round kick. Nice counter strike. Uh oh, uh oh, whoa, 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 okay. Sorry, I thought. No, 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 I'm. I, I have a boyfriend. I'm, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. Oh, curfew. I, I must go. Oh, poor sorry. guy. I was wondering, man. They were setting that up like something was going to happen. I was like, is this going to be another misunderstanding for our team? I can't believe you would wrap me out to yes. She dumped me. Dude, this is not my fault. You were the one dancing with another girl. You just can't handle that. She wanted me over you. I nearly told oh her. Oh, my no, it's fine. God. But to ruin my relationship over it? That is a new low, even for you. If you don't like facing consequences, maybe don't do shitty things. <laughs> Some people cannot take any damn accountability. Speaking of, God, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm so fucking out of it right now. I don't know if I can ever get over everything that's gone down. Badges are hard to overcome. But you know what's also hard? Coming an elite karate fighter, which you did faster than anyone I know. And I know a lot of people in karate. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't know if I can face everyone else again. You got embarrassed. Sucks. But at some point, you're going to have to see them. So go show them that you are not shit butt. <laughs> Kenny Payne. Kenny motherfucking Payne. Come on, man. Bring the pain. Got a strong ass name. Live up to it. Can you give us a minute? Oh. Listen, man. Um, what we got here? I swear on my life that I did not dose you, but I've been enough of an asshole that I'd see why you think it was me. Since I started this war, it's on me to end it, which is why I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, hold that thought. Is it Devin calling to admit what she did? Devin? Yeah. Hey, uh, Kenny. Saving Anthony a pair of pants right now. I'm the one who put the laxatives in your drink. What? I, I'm so, so sorry. I, I'm just feeling so much pressure right now. Hey, let me just talk about this when I get there. I really gotta go. Wait, yeah. To the bathroom? Yes, of okay, I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, too late. Oh, shit. Fuck. How long does it take for this stuff to kick in? Like, I don't know, dude, but you, you better go because you're going to want home field advantage for this kind of deuce. <laughs> We're good. No. I like that you're going to want home field advantage for this kind of deuce. God. Did you see uh, American kids? The one with the uh, hot hair. 
a little while ago. Did they get in fight? Not that I saw. Surprisingly. Well, look who it is! Look who's here together again! What is nothing? Looks that way. Maybe the Kamuko thing is how it played out. What do you call a headlock move you use on idiot tourists? As if I'd give away my secrets to the enemy. I'm not the enemy. Oh, that's right. Your enemy is the orchid. I assume that was about a girl. We'll talk about it. Why not? <laughs> Has it really broken your heart to let a little flower take you down? Nothing take me down. I bet I could. Oh my god. Second. Let's find out. Dude, they are- Oh! Dude, they are so gonna bang. Oh. Or dance. Oh, gee, yep. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. They were teeing that up so hard. They may have just done it right there for all we know. My head is pounding. Oh! I barely remember last night. Well, good thing I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Cue Ross and Rachel. We were on a break! Wow. <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, wait. Mom. Mom. Oh. Hey, 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 it is not what it looks like. That is not how they would do this. Where was she? Where's she, where's she in this room? I don't know. Where? I don't know. Said she was going to be okay. Said she was going to be okay. He said he didn't know. They would not do that. They would not. Thank Christ. Fuck. <laughs> that was evil. That was so evil. What is this section? This entire section is cruel as fuck. I'll give you all a moment. Thank you. Oh, Johnny. I'm like, you're the best mom in the world. Of course, we came back. We're never leaving you again. She's so lucky to have you as a dad. No. Plus, no one's going to mess with a girl whose big brother won the Psych Guy Tai Guy. Uh, what? What do you, what do you mean? You heard the doctor. I'm fine now, really. I'm oh, like, sending, sending them back? Here. You and Mickey need to go back to Spain. No, we just got here. Karate? God, who's paying for these tickets? Probably the Lou so to be fair. So wait, are we taking that spot away from Kenny now? Wait, hold on. What is, wait, maybe Devin forfeits her spot now that she's admitted the truth. Maybe Dimitri leaves. What is going on? Oh, wow. <laughs> they ended up at the beach at some point, apparently. The space between us. And no one can know what happened on the beach. One time you say, well, two, if you count on it. God damn! From here on out, we must remain professional. What happened in Barcelona? Stay in Barcelona. <laughs> uh oh. He was you? I've never seen him before. But since Greece has. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow! What an interesting turn of events on so many levels. What's the big emergency? God, she looks so she, good. We just crossed yeah, about that. Uh, by mistake. Multiple Stick. times. We found men who kidnap you. Follow him here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, you called Chris? Of course I did. I have questions of my own. Let's go. There he is. What is going on? Nice job. You got them running scared. Hey, Wait, what the fuck? Sensei Wolf, you sent this thug to kidnap me? Why? Because, Danny boy. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? They didn't even know. Be without a few surprises. Uh, 
Oh my God. I'm going to throw up. What was this episode? What was this? So much just chaos. Like, I, 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 I don't even know where to start. Obviously we have Johnny and Miguel, their flight back home. And with the title of this and with how things have been going with that was set up, I was expecting them to get jumped on the plane, there to be secret Cobra Kai's on the plane or something that that guy that kept antagonizing them was somehow a plant as well, maybe uh, paid to like antagonize Johnny on the plane, but that just ended up being completely separate and led to a really nice moment between Johnny and Miguel after they obviously worked through their frustrations. And Miguel's been very frustrated on a lot of levels about a lot of different things. He said some things to Robbie I think he probably shouldn't have said, and he said some things to Johnny he probably shouldn't have said. They were coming from this place of genuine like fear, concern, hurt, and all of that. And like calling back to like what he was talking about here about the attention he was giving Robbie but not giving him, I like that the way that Johnny was also rationalizing it, but we also saw some elements of that too when Miguel did get that victory, like what was it, in the last episode or whatever when they were on the platforms when he was the only Miyagi-Do to get a win and he was like, hell yeah, and then Johnny just ignored him. I get it. Like it's just all these things that he's feeling are just reflecting off. It's just these little like micro expressions, these little misinterpretations. It's just the way that everything is unfolding and the way everybody's attentions are pulled just this, that way and the other, you know, it just, it's backfiring on all, <laughs> on all fronts, man. To not even like the way that Sam has kind of, you know, found out a little bit of behind the scenes of what's going on with the Iron Dragons, the way they train their students. And then she tries to make this connection with their lead guy who misinterprets her concern for, you know, romantic advances. I mean, that was just the gist of this episode, really. You know, that one girl on the dance floor at the uh, at the at the club, you know, trying to lure in Dimitri, trying to lure in Hawk. You know, Hawk, he was like, hey, girlfriend, got it. Sorry. You know, they were looking, they were window shopping, but they didn't take the bait. At least he didn't. Dimitri, though, like when we first panned into the club and we were looking at them, he was just like, dude, he was like, he was like. He was <laughs> like focused. Can it be potentially a harmless little interaction? Sure. But I do think that once he hits the dance floor, it does start to go well beyond that, especially when he starts dropping the Mia Moore to her right there, man. Definitely crossed some lines. But Hawk, man, there's no way he didn't know what he was doing. He purposely turned that that camera around and like, oop, got, got a little Dimitri in there. Oh no, there's no way he would be that aloof. He knew he was getting Dimitri in trouble. And then obviously with everything going on too, on top of all of that, you know, Robbie is spiraling after everything. You know, he drank at this bar, he hooked up with Zara, who was already beefing with Tori, and that's complicating things. But then again, Quan's not helping because he's like, you know, showboating, doing his little thing, putting his arm around her and like peacocking over at Robbie and again, just trying to like start shit with everybody between him here and then just stalking Sam later down that alley. or just trying to mess things up. He's pretty much taking Kreese's words to heart and he was like, hey, what the battle doesn't end on the mat. We are fighting our fight on and off the competition floor. And this is what they're doing. They're stirring the pot. They're wrecking their morale. They're getting in their heads, playing those little mind games. And the story stumbles upon Robbie as he's coming up the next morning and she's walking out, they kiss, and he's just like, I don't even know what the fuck just happened. Tori sees it. And then even after all that too, the one dude understandably mistook Sam's uh, interest and concern for advances. I'm just glad that she wasn't going to fall into that trap. I was a little worried about that too. The way everything else was going in this episode, I would not have been shocked if that would have been, I would have been disappointed. I would not have been shocked with the way everything else in the episode was going if that would have happened. I'm just glad that somebody kept their fucking head on their shoulders in this episode. Speaking of head on their shoulders, you got Sensei Kim and fucking Chosen running around trying to find their kids. And they, 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 they I never realized just how similar those two are until they were put in this same situation, the way they were bantering back and forth, mouthing off to each other, their bravado, their air, their personalities, so similar. And then they just ended up fucking 
locking each other into a dance, kind of going at each other there, and then that just turned into them apparently going at it themselves twice. Once the night before, that night when they hit the beach in the morning of. God damn. And she looked good with her fucking hair down, man. God damn. But yeah, and then like we've figured out that there is a third party, you know, she's not aware of these these this uh, mysterious a uh, long-haired Cobra Kai goon that jumped Daniel or anything like that. So, you know, obviously she wants to know what's going on. She doesn't necessarily buy into Kreese's tactics, but they clearly suspect him by this point and they follow suit. You know, they get everybody together. He's just like, hey, if we're going to call him out on it, I want him here. And then it turns out it wasn't any of them. I don't know if Kreese knew this or not. He seemed shocked as all hell when he went down the, that hallway with them. It ended up not being Kreese. It was Terry goddamn Silver working with the Iron Dragons to get back at what, both of them? Is he trying to like frame Kreese for getting them involved? Is this his own like personal payback against both groups? What now? What a reveal at the end of this episode. Him just hot tub and all sipping away at his little whatever the hell and just like Mwah. god what what now what now what now this episode literally with all the things going on all of the characters making these these crazy ass decisions these upsetting situations that everybody's finding themselves in so much of this episode has had my stomach just twisting in knots. I'm so <laughs> upset with how a lot of this is playing out because it's good, it's good television. It's good television, don't get me wrong. I think some people are acting really fucking out of pocket, but given everything that's going on, given their ages, given they're in another country, given everything that's going on and everybody's not thinking straight, I get it, I get it. But we are pushing some boundaries in this episode for Sure. But everything going on, though, led Devin to finally admit what she did to Kenny, who was going to be taking Miguel's spot. But now Miguel is coming back. So what's going to happen there? Are they going to both end up over here? And does that mean somebody that is currently on the team is going to resign? I presume maybe Devin is going to give up her spot. Maybe she's going to step down and Miguel and Kenny are going to be there. Or maybe Dimitri leaves because of what happened here with Hawk and Yaz. Him getting just caught red handed on the dance floor like that. And then obviously just that fallout, that tension already between those two just bubbling and bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. I don't know, man. I don't know what's about to happen. I have no idea. And dude, they had to pull that bullshit with Carmen coming in there with that blood splattered hospital bed. That was evil. I knew they were gonna do us like that, but that was still evil all the same. Anyway, I got a little sidetracked there. Devin did admit the truth about what happened with Kenny, but obviously everybody at this point still thinks it's Anthony because, hey, let's be real. If it was going to be anybody, he would be the first person they think of because of this history. But he took the high road. He understand. He took his part in it and he apologized because, hey, yes, he has been a shit bag. He started the war, like he said, and before he could call it off, before everything, you know, Devin came clean, he, uh, he, he shot himself in the foot to prove how sorry he was to Kenny. He was like, hey, you shit your pants. Even if I didn't make you do it, I'll go down with you, bud. We kind of finally, seemingly, maybe, possibly repaired that that connection there a little bit, or at least, you know, finally start to build a foundation for the bridge that they were trying to build before Devin's, you know, act kind of got in the way of that. They were already starting to heal, like when he came to Miyagi-Do and trying to move past that slowly but surely. And but they were just already still on rocky ground. And then that just that really just pulled it out from under them. But maybe now after this whole little thing with Devin coming clean and Anthony doing what he did here, maybe we can finally bury that hatchet. And I love the part that Amanda played in that. I love when Amanda just gets fucking stern and serious in all these different little situations. Love it. All things though, this was probably the most batshit insane episode that we've had. And there wasn't that much fighting in it. There was some, but like the character drama was just the most stressful stuff in this show I think we've seen in a hot minute. At least for me, right now, coming off the heels of it. What, what are you guys thinking? How are you feeling? How are you feeling after this one? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Captain Marvel's channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share your course, God, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jay Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Moyer. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.